What's up guys? You guys who follow my channel know that I really like rockets and flying things in general. So quite a while ago I started printing some rockets. I used my Creality CR10 and I had some pretty good luck doing uh, things like this. Pretty neat. It's a big Falcon 9 rocket from SpaceX and I thought well that's kind of fun. Maybe someday I'll make a flying one but maybe I'll just make bigger ones. So I went a little bigger. This was the next step up. Can't even get it in frame. This is another Falcon 9 rocket and it turned out bloody amazing. It makes a really cool uh, prop in my studio. I did this on the CR-10 as well in multiple pieces. Really simple spiral vase mode. I even shared my settings on how to do this. I'll link them down below. I did a GitHub of all my CR10 settings so anyone else can print what would I print. And it, this one came out pretty awesome, but I wanted to go bigger. So I started printing the BFR from SpaceX. Now, I printed it in spiral vase mode as well in multiple pieces on the CR10. It came along pretty good. They're big, big pieces, as you can see. Uh, long, long prints, and I didn't have too many problems, but the biggest issue is I had these pieces sitting around on the bench now for so long because I wanted to paint them, wanted to do such a nice job, I wanted to do a little bit like this Falcon 9 and do a little bit of, just make it look a little better. Well, it's not happening. It's time to just assemble this thing and get it put together with you guys. Uh, these kind of daily videos I've been doing are a little bit of inspiration to get moving on some of these projects and I just want a bigger rocket. Let's make it. So these are the pieces for the BFR. Got some nozzles, got the main booster section, got intermediate stage, another top, and then we've got the shuttle that goes on top of that. So uh, I would have liked to have painted these, like I mentioned, to do a little nicer job and make them a little bit more complete, but it's just not happening. But look at how big this is gonna be. Uh, I, don't, I can only fit three sections high and I hit the ceiling, so. I guess we go ahead and get started. I'm just going to use some CA, standard CA, nothing fancy about it. Tasty tip, squeeze your CA bottle before you turn it upside down. That way when you turn it back upright and let go, it'll draw the CA back in and you won't have nozzle clogs. This one, it's open still and I haven't used it in weeks. Very cool. Oh, I also got some accelerator. This is just a zip kicker, nothing to it. Uh, standard stuff. I do think, well, let's just go to it. I printed solid on one end always to the print bed and open on the top. That way I don't have to use any uh, infill in the rocket itself. And then the next stage is solid and open in the top. And we just repeat. That way, no infill. Completely hollow. Uh, also, uh, this was a little tricky. I had to modify the model a little bit. I'll post it down below uh, to, to deal with some of the overhang and um, some of the things like the webbing on the re-entry fins here. So yeah, it, it turned out pretty good. All things considered. Let's go. Perfect. Done and dusted. Try and keep your kicker away from your glue whenever possible too, otherwise the vapors from your kicker will get into the bottle and uh, end up messing up, uh, curing it up inside the bottle, and that would be bad. Ah. 
I think I'm just gonna time lapse the rest of this. We'll get back to you when we're done. That's only two sections. This thing is gonna be nuts. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> This is crazy. This is borderline insane. <laughs> Let's put the nose cone on it. All right, before we do the final reveal, I just want to give a quick shout out to all my patrons. Thank you guys for supporting me. I hope I'm giving back a little bit with these videos and living up to uh, what you hoped when you pledged for me uh, in the first place. Guys, if you want to join me, uh, Patreon down below. Uh, I have some private content. I do giveaways and stuff like that. But truly, truly appreciate you guys. Let's take a look. Okay, who wouldn't want their very own five foot tall VFR rocket in their workshop? This turned out super cool. I couldn't be happier. I would like to finish painting it at some point and I think that would add a lot of details, but the shuttle is awesome. The booster stage and everything is just, it, it's just uh, super cool. I, I'm really happy with this. So it's a fun, fun project. I'll link the files down below. You can download even my version that I've cut this up for printing this large. You have to do some custom cutting and make the models so they'll work. Good luck in all your projects. Click a thumbs up on this if you like this content, if you like making absolutely ridiculously foolish things like five foot tall BFR rockets. Very, very neat. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, make something cool this week. Let me know what you're making down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Cheers. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is absolutely foolishness. <laughs> oh, I love it.